So for this week's video, I'm going to be unboxing Fitbit's newest, latest charge model, Fitbit Charge 2. It's in this box right here. I just got home from school, realized this came in the mail, and immediately sat down here to film for you guys. And yes, you may be wondering why am I wearing a hat? Well, I thought I'm unboxing a Fitbit fitness tracker sporty, so I'll wear a hat. No, it's just because my hair is a mess. So let's just get straight to unboxing the box of the Fitbit Charge 2. So basically it just came in this box because I ordered it directly from Fitbit. They had the two day shipping thing going on for free so I totally went ahead and did that. But I'm just going to cut and open the box. So let's see. There we go, so I just opened the box. Now when you open the box, it just looks like this and there's a paper inside. What does this paper say? It just says that it shipped to me and everything from Fitbit, so that's cool. And then inside is the Fitbit Charge 2. I'm so excited. Oh, okay, so I don't need that box anymore, goodbye. So it comes in a little plastic wrap. This is something different than from Amazon. Amazon just came by itself. So this is just what the box looks like. It says Fitbit Charge 2 at the top. And basically, as I said in my previous video, which I will leave a link down below to and in the little eye, whatever it is in the corner, it's basically just an informational video about the Charge 2. Um, but basically the Charge 2, there wasn't like a Charge HR version and like a Charge version. The heart rate just came standard in this model, which is really nice. So as you can see, it says Pure Pulse Technology, the heart rate. Then it says heart rate plus fitness wristband. And then at the bottom just says everything that it does. So it's heart rate. It monitors your sleep and your daytime activities, your steps, text messages, and different interchangeable bands, which is something I'm super excited about because I know the Fitbit Charge HR did not have interchangeable bands, but the Fitbit Alta did, so this was kind of like a merging of the two of them. And then at the back, it just has some stacks, so I'll just read them to you quickly. It says, Fitbit Charge 2, make every beat count to attract steps, distance, and calories burned. See real-time exercise stats with run, bike, weights, and other modes. Automatically record workouts with smart track auto exercise recognition. Customized with interchangeable bands, long battery life, Pure Pulse automatic continuous heart rate, automatically track sleep and set a silent alarm, display call text and calendar alerts plus date and time, and syncs wirelessly to an any Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, or PC device. So this is just what it looks like. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. Super excited, okay, how do I, I pull it here. And it says it's water resistant and works with the Aria scale. I actually don't have that scale. But if you do, that's something handy to know. There we go, I always have trouble like opening up these boxes. You'd think I've opened three by now. I would be able to do it. So this is just what it looks like when you open the box. So you have the tracker here, and then you have the instructions and everything to set it up. So I'm just gonna take the tracker out first. How do I pull it out? There we go. So this is just what it looks like from the side and everything. So it does have the clasp band, which I love. One thing I hated about the Fitbit Alta it just, I thought I was gonna get over it, but I never got over it. That's why I never wore it as much as my Fitbit Charge HR, was the fact that it didn't have the regular watch latch. I love the regular watch latch. I need that in order to feel secure. So I'm super glad that this one has it. And it has the plastic covering the actual heart rate monitor. So I'm just gonna pull open the plastic. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, the screen looks so nice. That's what the screen looks like. You can see myself from the reflection. There you go. It looks so nice, and I think it's dead, yeah, it's dead. And unlike the Fitbit Alta, the Fitbit Charge 2 has a button to control the screen. I know a lot of people didn't like the fact that you had to like tap it a lot of times. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open the instructions. Let's see. Open them up. I think I have to set it up online. I think this happens every time. Let's see. To set up, go to fitbit.com slash setup. So you just have these instructions and you can do it on your computer or you can do it on your phone. And then just there's safety instructions and warranty. So I'll look over that after. I don't think anyone even ever reads that, but it's good to have. I'm just gonna put it back in the box so I don't lose it. Okay, so now we have the actual trackers charger. It can come out, there we go. I'm not patient at all. I'm gonna pull the sticker off. Let's see, I'm actually not even sure what the charger looks like. Let's see. Oh, I see. What? It doesn't have the wirelessly sync connector thing. All the other Fitbit models have had 
the connector that you can, it's like the dongle that you can plug into your computer, but this one doesn't seem to have it. Interesting, hmm. But never mind, I'll just go ahead. I never use that anyway, but still, it's a little weird they wouldn't include that. So this is just what the charger looks like. It's actually really long, which is nice. I know all the other models had like super short cords, and especially the Charge HR had a super short cord. So you have to like, you wouldn't be able to plug it in on the wall, it'd be like hanging down. And another thing I like about this charger is that it is a clasp, which is nice, and it looks like it's different than both the Fitbit Alta and the Fitbit Charge HR. So that is the unboxing for today and my little initial mini review and impressions of the band. I think it's going to be really nice. I think I'm going to love it much better than I did the Fitbit Alta and hopefully just the same as I love my Fitbit Charge HR. It isn't waterproof and that's something that everyone wanted this charger to have. I know the Fitbit Flex is, but I like a screen. One thing I like about the screen is that it is actually quite large and it looks... It looks very sleek looking. It doesn't look like too chunky. Looks like it's almost the perfect size. Hold on, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put it on my wrist. Sorry about that, my camera stopped recording for a second, but I put the Fitbit on. It's really weird because I'm pretty, I ordered a small, it's a small on the package, but it seems huge. I have it on like the highest, like the smallest setting, and it's, it fits perfectly well, but my Fitbit Charge HR, I only had to have on like the six. Like it's huge, if I set this all the way to how big it is, like it's falling off my wrist. I ordered a small, it says small, I'm hoping they didn't mix it up and give me a large, I don't think so, but that's, huh. it seems to fit. So I don't know if they gave me a large or a small, but I just have it on the tightest setting, so I'm just gonna go with that. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed my little initial review and like first impressions, and of course the unboxing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and charge this bad boy up and use it for a couple of days, and then I'll come back with a very detailed review, showing you what the things I like, the things I don't like, the different features. I know this tracker is supposed to have a lot of different features, like the monitored breathing or something. It can GPS track according to your phone, so that'll be interesting. I'm not too sure what how that's gonna work. I'll test it all out. And I'll be back to do another video for you guys. So if you want to watch that video, make sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribing is free and just lets you know when I post a video. And believe me, you're not going to want to miss this review. So make sure you go and subscribe down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to go set it up on my phone. And I'll see you guys in a little while. Bye.